Good day. Welcome to my channel. I recently unboxed the Chestnut Air Plus last week. You can see that in my channel. So today I'm going to compare the Chestnut Air and the Chestnut Air Plus. I recently saw a comment asking for the difference between these two boards. So today I hope to clear it up. I have the boards set up on the table and you can already tell some differences between these two boards. First, let's look at the pieces. So the pieces themselves, let's look at the knights because they do look significantly different. So you can see the detail of this knight, the chestnut air knight. Knights are a great example of checking out the differences between these two boards. This is the Ch chestnut air plus knight. I have seen these knights in previous boards. They do look familiar. And so let's compare the two, these two. So again, we have the plastic Chestnut Air Knight and the Chestnut Air Plus Knight right there. The pieces on the Chestnut Air are made out of plastic and the Chestnut, piece, Chestnut Air Plus pieces on this board are made out of wood. Now, if you look at the board itself, you can see that this board has annotations whereas the Chestnut Air Plus board does not. So the fact that this board does not have annotations, whereas the Chestnut Air does, kind of muddled me in the beginning when I was setting up the chess boards because I was kind of confused about the orientation. Where should the board be facing? So I can take this board, the Chestnut Air, for reference since this has annotations. When we set up the pieces, usually the white pieces have to have the A starting at the corner, the bottom left corner. So A to H on this side and 1 to 8. If you're setting up the black pieces, H should be the beginning here. So that's the top right corner on my side, the top right corner. So that kind of muddled me in the beginning. I was kind of confused about where I should place this board. I mean, how the orientation of this board should be. So I had to refer to the Chestnut Air for reference. It's probably not a, not a big issue because when we do set up the pieces, I guess that the, the board will automatically register the pieces on the board itself and the app once you do use it. So you can set them up as you please. However, I am, uh, I am the kind of stringent person when it comes to this. I prefer having the board placed in a certain orientation, a fixed orientation. I don't want to be muddled about where I should place this board. So the power button and the toggle button are on this side. And the same here, the power button and the toggle button here, the speaker, the USB-C cable as well. So I will automatically place it this at this side so that I know I have this switch here for reference so that I don't need to always think about the orientation of this board. I will just remember, oh, when I set up the pieces, the power button should be on the left side. Then I'll know that I can set up the white pieces here. In this video, I will not delve into the app because the setup and the process is the same. So for all Chestnut boards, besides the Chestnut Evo, the setup process is the same. So we use the Chestnut app to set up the boards for the Chestnut Air Plus and the Chestnut Air. The process is exactly the same. So I will not spend time on that. However, I will show you some relevant comparisons to the board itself. So the physical aspects of this board. And the feel of this board, as I said before, is wood. So we have 
a wood texture feel to this board, whereas this is plastic. And there's a frame, a bezel, <laughs> should I say, on the sides of this board, whereas this does not have that kind of thing on this board. So just to recap, also the LEDs are shown here, which might be distracting for you. The size is the same, exactly the same as the Chestnut Air Plus board. So there is no size difference between these two. You can see here that the King is slightly taller than the Chestnut Air King. How about the Bishop? They look the same. Maybe this piece is slightly taller. The Knight. So the Chestnut Air Plus Knight is slightly taller. The Rooks. The Rooks for the Chestnut Air Plus are slightly taller. How about the Pawns? Let's have a look. So again, the Chestnut Air Plus not uh, sorry, the Chestnut Air Plus pawn is slightly taller than the Chestnut Air pawn. Another significant difference between these boards lie in the LEDs. So the LEDs shown on the Chestnut Air Plus board is red, whereas for the Chestnut Air board, it's green. I will light these LEDs up and show you the difference. So I hope you can tell the difference between these two boards in terms of their LEDs. So you can see that the red LEDs here, they really do pop out. I think they stand out more than the green LEDs on the Chestnut Air. Although the Chestnut Air LEDs that are green are still visible. However, for my personal preference, I do prefer these LEDs because they do really stand out and they're vibrant. So when I'm playing a chess game, I really want to see where to place the pieces. I don't want to be interfered by the lighting. So because, because of the lighting, if the light is strong outside, it might be a little bit hard to see where the LED is. But if you play in a, in, in, if you play in an environment where there is not so much light, you'll have no problem playing with the chestnut air. So I played a, I played a game for a while and I removed all of the pieces. And you can see now that the LEDs are all here. Here's a close up view of the LEDs for the Chestnut Air. Slightly dim, but not significantly dim. They're still visible. And here are the Chestnut Air Plus LEDs. Chestnut Air, Chestnut Air Plus. Here are how the boards look from the back. You have the labels here and the difference between these two boards. Well, the Chestnut Air Plus board has a bezel, a frame on the side, that is for the bottom. Whereas for the Chestnut Air, there is no bezel. At the back, I mean, there's no bezel and everything else remains the same except that this has a different texture, as well as this. Flipping it around, you can see that the bezel for the Chestnut Air is on this side, on the sides. So you have the bezels here and the plastic playing board area in the middle. So as I said in my previous video, we are able to use the same Chestnut bag to store either board, because the size is the same. You can just insert your board inside here, inside this compartment. Any extra documentation you want to put in or insert. You have an extra slot here, an extra compartment. The Chestnut Air Chest Set Quick Start Guide. Pieces go in here. 
So that's the Chestnut Air Plus or Chestnut Air bag. If you have any doubts or questions regarding these boards, the Chestnut Air Plus board or the Chestnut Air, I will try my best to answer your questions or any doubts in the comments below. So this is the Chestnut Air Plus board I'm holding. If you were to ask me which I would prefer, for me personally, I would prefer the Chestnut Air Plus because of the fact that the LEDs are hidden underneath the surface of the board. I do tend to find that the Chestnut Air board is kind of distracting because of the LED dots that are shown on the squares itself. But it's not really a big issue. It's a personal preference. It's entirely your choice whether you want to play on the Chestnut Air or the Chestnut Air Plus. I think that both boards are really great. The Chestnut Air Plus board feels more premium in my hands than the Chestnut Air because it's solid wood. I feel like I am actually holding a premium product in my hands. Yes, the price might be higher than the Chestnut Air, but for me personally, I would be willing to spend the extra bucks to play with the Chestnut Air Plus than the Chestnut Air. But again, it's your personal preference. I'm interested in knowing which board you prefer. Do you prefer the Chestnut Air Plus board or the Chestnut Air? Do let me know in the comments. I'll be interested in answering any questions you have regarding these boards. So if you have any doubts or any concerns, do let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you. If you're interested in purchasing any of these boards, such as the Chestnut Air Plus board or the Chestnut Air, there is a link in my description. You'll get a 12 to 17% discount from Chestnut. I hope my video clears up any confusion among these boards and that you've got a clearer understanding regarding the Chestnut Air and the Chestnut Air Plus boards. If there is anything that I haven't covered, please let me know also in the comments. So I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.